So in this problem, we're trying to solve a double integral. We've got this charged area here, instead of a single charged line, it's an area, giving us this, um, uh, this, this type of density here, charge density of that. <laughs> and uh, the lengths of this area is gonna be L this way. And of course, we're looking for the electric, the electric field at the origin right here. And so um, well, let's remind ourselves of our equation. K, uh, Q over R squared. And let's just kind of realize that if we want to be doing the integration uh, limits, we need to find real values for what we can start and end at. So we're not going to put it in terms of x's and y's because otherwise we won't really be able to, uh, <laughs> you know, integrate from there to there. So we want the actual numbers here. So on this side, we're going to put uh, the length is supposed to be L, right? So this would be negative L over 2. And then the other coordinate for y would be d. And then on this side, it would be uh, l over 2, and then also d. But then over here, we would be thinking, okay, um, so we're going to want to stop at uh, again l over 2. But now it's d plus y, uh, not plus y, but plus l. d plus l. And over here, again, negative l over 2, and then uh, d plus l. So very similar there. So now we kind of got everything set up here. We know the two um, the limits of our integrations. And now we can try to figure out what this Q is, because I know that's, that's a really important thing. Um, but let's also consider real quick, because look, we got some symmetry. So we know that one of the, we know that one of the components are gonna cancel out because everything is, is just basically uh, pointing kind of more towards the down direction here, because this would all cancel out and this would all cancel out. And so you'd only get one, one thing in this direction. So let's just kind of simplify that down. Um, let's imagine that we had a little little triangle here. This is going to be an angle that we would get depending on where this point is that we're sort of charging. Let's say it was like even all the way here. We, we got to kind of consider that point there. Okay. But um, what is the distance from here to there? Okay. It's going to be um, it's going to be like x squared plus um, plus y squared, right? So x squared plus y squared will give you the distance from the thing to the point. So r squared um, is like x squared plus y squared. All right, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And so you, now you know how far away that's going to be. But uh, as far as the angle here, as far as the angle here, um, you can look at it from like this perspective, right? Uh, this is This would be a... Uh, um, the cosine of the theta, right? Even though it's in the y direction, it's cosine of theta. So cosine of theta. All right, so let's start filling in some of these equations, things that we have. We'll leave it as q right now for there. But then on top, on the bottom, we have x squared plus y squared. And then um, there's still the cosine of theta, which we'll deal with in just a second. But the q, we can now think about that. All right. Well, this charge stuff is really important to kind of really understand that Charge is equal to Q divided by the area. And if you think about this thing, how would you define the area of this box um, in terms of like X and Y? It's just going to be X times Y, right? X times Y. So we would say that the area in this particular situation is just X, Y. And so now you can, you'll find that the equation here sort of goes uh, X, Y with this lamb, this thing here. And then equals q, and now you'll you'll d, d everything on all sides, and you would get that dq is equal to uh, this thing, density times dx dy. All right, and so now you can plug that into this. So let's take the d's on both sides. We get de equals k, and then dq is just going to be uh, density times dx dy over x squared plus xy and then cosine theta. But let's try to figure out what cosine theta is in terms of uh, x's and y's. So cosine theta is gonna be equal to whatever this length is, here to there, which I believe would be, um, would just be y. And then it would also just be um, over, over, over whatever we found for the d over there. So cosine would just be y, over uh, whatever we found for this, which is x squared plus y squared, but in the square root this time, because that's the hypotenuse. All right, 
So now we can just plug that in there and we'll get DE equals, okay, let me have this thing. Um, there's going to be like a Y on the top and then we can sort of go like that. And then we can multiply this by this and we'll be getting X squared plus Y squared, three over two on the bottom. And then of course we're going to get the DX and the DY right there. And if we wanted to finish this off and, 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 and plug in the integration limits on, all, on both sides, then we would say, okay, E is going to be equal to um, from L, negative L, X equals negative L over 2, to X equals L over 2. And then you have the next one, which would be Y equals um, D, and then Y equals D plus O. And then you just plug in this, so it's K density y over x squared plus y squared three over two and then finish it off with a dx and a dy now, i don't think we're supposed to solve this but i mean it, it wouldn't be too difficult to though <laughs> but this is kind of cool this is what we we're supposed to do is set up the integral the double integral and not necessarily solve it but uh for that point right there in the electric field i just think it's pretty interesting